So, this is a character of a barrister of uh, his time. So, he was uh, a prominent and quite famous barrister. So, we will study his character. He was also among those pilgrims. So, a man of law, uh, a royal servant for legal matters and he was chosen of highly qualified barrister. So, he was one of them. He was uh, uh, a man who was uh, prudent and wise. He had often been at porch of uh, St. Paul's Cathedral. Now, this was a place where only uh, the skilled barristers were allowed to go and they would meet their clients there. So, he was one of them. He was rich in excellence, cautions and well respected. He seemed to be greatly gifted and his speech was full of wisdom. He also worked as judge at assizes many times. He did this on a license by the king and on plain commission. So, the plain commission is uh, uh, a license, the patent is a license basically that is given to the king and having so much knowledge and fame, he charged high fee and brought precious dresses uh, and all his property was fee simple for him. So, he could sell it any time and was absolute owner of it. So, fee simple is a concept that you could buy and sell the property without uh, the intervention of the government. So, he had for himself this license reserved. So, it was because his purchase remains safe. So, the man of law was a highly qualified, experienced and skillful barrister. He was well known and often went as chief justice to different countries of England, uh, counties of England and Wales. He used his knowledge for his uh, benefit and changed the lands into fee simple and uh, became absolute owner of them that government could not have the intervention. He was given high fee and rich robes not only uh, by the king but also by his clients. So, he was uh, a well to do person uh, because of his knowledge of his experience and expertise he was earning a lot. There was no person as busy as he was and still he seemed busier than he was. In exact wordings, uh, he knew all the judicial cases and the decisions from the time of uh, King William the Conqueror. Uh, his time was uh, tentatively 1027 uh, to 1087 and uh, he could con uh, compose and make a case and no person could find defect in his legal writings. He knew each statue completely by heart and he was riding in simple and comfortable way and dressed in a, a multicolored gown with a, a band of silk having small crossbars on it and Chaucer says that I shall not comment more on his appearance. Maybe he was not liking his appearance that much. So, the second half of the text about the man of law shows that how much wicked he was that he had learned all the cases and the judgments which are around uh, a, a time span of 30, 300 years and uh, he was so much skilled that he could prepare any fake case and any fake property letter and no one could find fault with it. So, uh, he was a big landowner and now we realize that he was a landowner because he was getting people's land rather he was snatching. Uh, people's land uh, through fake documents and those documents were uh, so original uh, that no one could find fault in them. And the barristers and judges of medieval age were notorious for such activities because they played with rules and law which common people could not. So, such people made heap of money. So, Chaucer is basically making a criticism on such people who were uh, uh, piling up their money on the base or on the uh, amount of the people's personal capacity. So, they were uh, snatching their lands, they were selling them, buying them and uh, they were uh, piling up heaps of amount. So, you know, Floka character hai, bada siyana tha, bada intelligent tha. St. Paul ke church pe excellence zara tha tha, waha pe koi yam barrister par nahi maar sakta tha, lekin ye waha pe mojood hota tha. Kyunki iske paas knowledge bho zara tha, excellence thi iske andar. 
और इसके आ, अच्छे नॉलेज की वजह से इसको अक्सर काउंटी कोर्ट के चीफ जस्टिस के तौर पे भी बुलाया जाता था इसकी फीस बहुत ज़्यादा होती थी और चूँकि इसका नॉलेज बहुत ज़्यादा था और इससे ज़्यादा लैंड का बड़ा परचेज़र कहीं भी नज़र नहीं आता तो हमें अब पता चलता है कि वो लैंड क्यों ख़रीदता था क्योंकि उसके पास इतना नॉलेज था कि वो ऐसे जाली डॉक्यूमेंट्स तैयार करता था कि लोग उसमें गलती नहीं निकाल सकते थे सो नो बिजी मैन लाइक हिम एंड लुक बिजियर देन ही वॉज वो इतना बिजी नहीं था लेकिन वो शो ऐसे ही कराता था कि वो बहुत ज़्यादा मसरूफ़ है इस वजह से उसको ज़्यादा लोग अप्रोच करते थे उसके चार्जेस ज़्यादा इंक्रीज होते थे तकरीबन 400 साल के उसने केसेस पढ़े हुए थे अब एक बंदा जो 400 साल के केसेस पढ़ सकता है और जिसको उनके डिक्रीज और डिसीजन याद हैं वो तो कोई केस हार ही नहीं सकता तो ऐसे लोगों की मांग वैसे ही बढ़ जाती है वो कोई भी लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट बना सकता था एडिट कर सकता था उसे तमाम शिकें याद थी और यहाँ पर वो एक सिंपल से ड्रेस में था और ये ऐसी अपेरेंस थी जिसको चौसर ने अप्रूव नहीं किया क्योंकि इट वॉज अनलाइक वट ही वॉज अर्निंग 